Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ezeal, and I read an article earlier this morning about a new website that came out called Exercisem.io. And it's supposed to be a crowdsource mentorship where you can get practice programming problems off of various languages, create a solution and upload it, and get feedback from other peers, I believe. And one of the things that I did was I went to go download it at work, and everybody seemed to have a little bit of problems with trying to get it installed. So what I wanted to do was just create a clean video that shows you exactly how to download this and how you need to go run it on a very basic level. And hopefully this will make it just a little bit easier, and it won't take us but just two or three minutes to walk through everything. Now when you first come to exercise.io, you want to go ahead and create a GitHub account if you have not already. Once you have done that though, you will be able to go to the latest release here and download the latest uh, version. Now I'm on Windows 7 and I will post this link for the uh, latest releases and then you can just download that and you can already see I've actually downloaded the, the file that's all zipped up here and I can just show that in the folder and basically just extract here. I've already done it, so I'll just override it, and boom, there we go, I've got my exe there. Now don't click this, don't open it, don't run as administrator, don't do anything with this because it's not gonna help you. What you wanna do is I would suggest probably copying uh, this exe and then go somewhere and basically create a folder for exercise them like I did here. And when you do that, just drop that exe right in there for yourself. Now once you drop that in there, the next thing that we need to do is we need to configure everything and get it set up. So the best way to do that is you want to go ahead and do a start and go create a command, open up a command prompt here. And in this command prompt, go ahead and just change it to the directory that you've created, which I just did an exercise on here, and you'll see that this pops up. Now there's one key piece of information that you are going to need in order to get this configured correctly first, is you want to go to your exercise.io and go to the account information page here. Now this has your API key right here. You want to copy this API key. I'm going to go back because down below is the exercise configure command prompt here and we're going to type that in basically and get this all set up for you. Let's see, we'll go key equals and then I'll paste in my actual key there and then just have that do that. Now what it does is it creates a configuration file under your user's account and it's going to create that JSON file. What you can do, and this is just an idea to help you keep things as clean as possible, is go to that user's folder where you've got everything set up, open up that JSON file, I'll just use Notepad, and we want to basically just take out that first part there because we created the same folder and you'll see that there's the exercise in there and just save that. Now the reason we're going to do this, you're going to see here shortly why I did that because I like things to be tidy and very clean for myself. So if we go back to the folder here, you'll see that it's just the exe right here. But when we go through and actually try to do the fetch, if you just do fetch by itself, it actually pulls down all of the programming languages, which right now looks like there's 18 problems, and it creates all those folders because they don't exist already. So that's why I like to go in and change that configuration file to change the directory so everything's kind of nice and neat instead of just being all jammed up in my user's directory. That's basically it. So what you then do is you go through, I have, I have not gone through to try any of these problems or try to upload those, but this is just the basic, very simplistic way of getting the initial problems downloaded and getting your first step into hopefully working on this application with exercise them. And hopefully this will grow and turn into something that's gonna be a little bit better. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below on my YouTube channel. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Hopefully this video is somewhat useful. And happy programming, guys.